Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly create a global widget using the Elementor plugin for WordPress for the site builder. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And assuming that you guys are already logged into your WordPress account as an administrator, the idea here is you want to get access to the site builder. So there are a couple ways to get there. You can either click on the edit site button right here under quick links, or simply selecting the corresponding page that you want to edit. So if you were to edit the about page or the splash page or your home page, for example, uh, you could do so too, or you could click on appearance and select editor. So either way is really fine, but um, I'll just show you guys what I mean. So once we're here on a site editor, to create a global widget is actually very simple. So the idea is you want to hover over the actual home page, and you'll see that um, when you go to add a container like this, all you have to do is click on plus. Now, by clicking on plus, you'll be met with this option here being um, you want to select the layout for how you want your container to be uh, displayed. So you can obviously choose uh, Flexbox or Grid. Now, I would say that Grid is uh, more flexible despite um, Flexbo uh, Flexbox's name. However, uh, this one is totally up to you guys, depending on how you want to use it. But anyway, the idea is you want to select the layout for it. So if I were to go for Flexbox and I want to, let's say, do like a gallery thing going of like um, the pictures that are from my website, I would choose um, this layout right here or this structure and simply select that. And you can see that each um, con uh, the container, the entire global widget contains a couple of different sub containers on which you could add elements to. So if I were to select, um, let's do image right here. We can do so too. And then if you want to add like a, a text editor, a video here, you can simply drag and drop and input a video right here. You can change the URL. So if I were to click on video, I can change the link right here, as you guys can see. So it's uh, honestly pretty simple. I'm just gonna delete this real quick since we're keeping with the theme. So we'll be doing images. We can upload an image from our assets library as you guys can see, or upload files from your computer. Either way, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, the, the fact here is um, you guys can fully customize uh, each widget or container to act as a global container for, or a global widget for your website using the site builder. And it's honestly that simple. So yeah, um, thank you all for watching. That's the video. Uh, if you guys found, uh, found the video helpful, be sure to let us know that in the comment section below. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.